guess who is gonna be in school by the time you see no that's not true you see you're seeing this on wednesday oh and it's friday you, you will i'll be in school by the time you see this today i've got string cheese <laughs> hello everybody it's mr karen welcome to into the I got into the abyss. Episode 30. This kind of tastes gross. So, today, please ignore my hair. It's better than other days, so I don't want to touch it. Today, we're talking about the assassination attempt of Ronald Reagan. The United States was shot, and the person who fired the gun today is a free man. March 30, 1981, Ronald Reagan had only been president for two months as he exited the Washington Hilton following a speech, 25-year-old John Hinckley Jr. was waiting with a revolver and fired six times. Among the injured, a police officer, Secret Service agent, and Press Secretary James Brady, who was shot in the head and spent the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Hey Google, what president was Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan was the 40th president of the United States of America. And one day, Can you shut up? And he said, I think I've cut the inside of my mouth. And I said, well, look. And it was pretty profuse. Parra knows this is a big trouble. So he has a decision to make. Do I head back to the White House, the safest place in the universe? Or does he avert to George Washington Hospital? And one day when he was walking out of an office building, pew, 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 gunshots everywhere. And he gets a shot lodged right next to his heart. Goes right in his side and right next to his heart. All the president is safe. Safe, yes, but not okay. Reagan starts complaining of pain in his back, his chest, and side. Not feeling so good. And just then, I coughed. And I had a handful of bright red frothy blood. And the Secret Service agents, they're all trained. Cover, get, get rid of the, um, the shooter and cover the president. If they're a good president or a bad president, cover them. That's their goal. They're the president. You have to. You have to do it. He has he's done target practice. He can hit stationary targets 20 to 30 feet. Jerry Parr, the lead secret service agent, Reagan's lead secret service agent. Meanwhile, in four tenths of a second, I've tried to time it. It's very difficult, but in about four tenths of a second, has grabbed the president of the United States the moment he hears the gunfire. So this guy throws him into the back of the limousine and goes Yahoo! Right on top of him. And when he lands, um, he's like, hey, help, I think you broke, uh, I think you broke a rib because he feels this sharp pain in his side. The first one hits Jim Brady, the press secretary, in the head, he falls down. The second one hits Tom Delahan, who's a DC police officer, who had turned around to check on the president's progress, gets hit in the back, falls down, screams, I'm hit! Hits the ground. Now the path to the president is clear. It's wide open. Hinkley has an effective range of 20 to 30 feet. And so everyone, they, the guy makes sure the shooter's covered and detained. And he gets up and he coughs. Ugh. Blood. Lots of blood. Everywhere blood. Handkerchief, blood. Other handkerchief, blood. And I don't understand, why do presidents use handkerchiefs? Why not tissues? Tissues work better. On March 30th, 1981, a would-be assassin fired six shots at President Ronald Reagan outside the Washington Hilton Hotel, two miles from the White House. Well, anyway, uh, this is going to be the last, last, um, the last end of the abyss before, before I go back to school, which means these things are gonna get started to shorter. This is probably one of the last long end of the abyss. So thank you for watching. We are now 60% of the way through this series. Wow. Bye!